Hey there, it's Bobby Legs, and welcome to another episode of Bobby Legs Loves Watches. And if you like this kind of content, almost daily news from the watch community, please like the video. Also, if you're not a subscriber, please do consider subscribing. It really does help out the channel. And if you are a subscriber, thanks again for stopping by. Please consider joining the Bobby Legs community for a small nominal monthly fee. Uh, you can get access to a great community discord that we have where we share pictures and advice and whatnot uh, between us watch collectors. There's a join button underneath this video. Let's get going. We have a lot to report, all coming from monochromewatches.com. And Tudor introducing uh, the boutique only Tudor Black Bay Chrono Blue, a handsome looking watch. I'm really liking this piece. I've heard rumors about this piece coming out. And uh, the announcement uh, on Monochrome, at least, was made today. You got the typical snowflake hour hand here. Very, very legible. Love this look on this five link bracelet, 41 millimeter case diameter, 14.2 millimeter case height, 50 millimeter lug to lug. So you're going to fit a lot of wrists, especially above the six and a half inch mark, I would say, uh, using this brightly derived automatic movement. Um, just a really cool looking piece. Let's take a couple look at a uh, couple looks at the at the images here. Uh, just a great piece. Just I, I'm really liking it. You got the date of the six o'clock window. I love the contrast from the sub dials with the dial. Uh, makes it very very legible. Like I said again, and uh, yeah, the caliber MT five eight one three manufactured based on that Breitling B zero one COC certified. COSC certified automatic integrated chronograph with column wheel and vertical clutch. Just a just a great little package here for around 5,300 Swiss francs, 5720 euro uh, water resistance, 200 meter water resistance. Yeah, so you know, just a really nice piece. Uh, not too thick, in my opinion, in regards to the case thickness for uh, the the watch. But uh, anyway. Just a good overall piece and nice, nice little boutique only release by Tudor. All right, moving on. Uh, MBNF, yeah, and Lepi, Lepe, 1839, collaborating on the, what they are calling the Albatross, the friend's most audacious co creator, uh, co creation ever. Okay, so you're not going to be putting this one on the wrist, right? <laughs> Although maybe at first you're like, uh, am I putting this on my wrist? Because, you know, that's what some of these uh, watches look like. Uh, 15 clocks, no fewer, have been created by uh, this collaboration over the last 10 years. And uh, they like doing robots, octopods, sci fi vessels. Uh, vessels. Uh, this one is um, a brainchild of the designer Eric Meyer. Uh, Albatross was inspired by the Albatross airship in Jules Verne's novel, uh, novel Robur de Conqueror. Uh, so, wow. Yeah, interesting piece. Uh, not too many will be made, I would imagine. I think somewhere around five or eight. Uh, the information is um, lower here. Uh, the Zeppelin is made out of whopping 1,520 components, chiming both. Uh, featuring a striking hour function, chiming both the specific hours on the hour and the single strike on the half hour. Uh, the automation composed of 16 pairs of propellers to launch it into action every hour. Wow, really, really cool. Wish they gave us a little video to see how it worked, but I'm sure that will be coming really, really soon. 600 meters, 600 millimeters long. 350 millimeters wide. So, I mean, unless you're Paul Bunyan, you're not going to be wearing this on the wrist. Uh, five limited editions of only eight pieces each. So I'm thinking that's 40. Uh, no price point here. Um, so I guess it's one of those things where you have to, well, if you have to ask, you should have known it. All right, moving quite along to the Vacheron Constantin Metiers d'Art, the legend of the Chinese Zodiac. It's the year of the snake, everyone. Oh, man, the dragon was on fire. Uh, I think that was like last year or two years ago. Uh, this one, very, very interesting as well. You have uh, at the top, at the 11 and the two o'clock position here, one o'clock position here, uh, an hour and uh, a minutes and below 
at the let's call it the seven o'clock and the five o'clock the day and the date of the day. Uh, let's read a little bit more about this. Uh, it almost takes three days for the master engraver to produce the lifelike cobra on and the rocks uh, applique at the center of the dial. This is entirely engraved by hand. The light blue is made in the sky is made by a gradient uh, grand fouet, fouet enamel, enamel <laughs> that intensifies um, the reaches uh, uh, as a, uh, to the periphery. And the foliage, on the other hand, is created by using ancestral Geneva technique known as flu-coated miniature opaque enamel. Wow. Wow. So uh, those four operators, trailing indicators for the hours and the minutes, as we said, jumping indications for the date and um, the uh, day and the date. Very, very cool. The open work 22, 22K gold rotor, as you can see here. Look at that movement. Just the beauty. Um, just cool watches, man. I, I love the, the series, uh, the Chinese Zodiac uh, uh, series. It's great. Available exclusively at Vacheron Constantin Boutiques. Uh, the movement is a 2460 G4 developed and manufactured by Vacheron Constantin, self winding. The watch is 40 millimeters case diameter, just under 13 thickness, 950 platinum or 18 carat 5N pink gold polished, transparent sapphire crystal case back. Water resistance, 30 meters. Okay, moving on to the PSG. I love PSG. I love the Polo series. I, I really do like what they what they got going on. And this piece is very, very interesting. I like it a lot. The new PSG Polo skeleton ceramic so you got some cool materials there you got to skeletonize not so i've said it before i'm not a huge fan of skeleton watches but the contrast here lately i've seen a couple skeleton releases that i've liked uh the that exclusive limited um tanda by parmesan uh parmesan Fleurier, um with the contrast i feel enough contrast with the hour uh, uh and the minute hand and the indices and the uh skeletonized case uh, movement dial, what have you. Uh, here, no exception to that. That this looks good. Uh, I could, I could, looks like I could tell the time uh, fairly easy. And that's very important uh, while maintaining that skeletonized look. Uh, looks like it's on a rubber strap. Um, just a cool piece. Let's get into some details here. Um, oh, looks like you can get it with a blue strap and a black strap. Very nice. 42 case, 42 millimeter case diameter. Wow, very thin. Wow. Seven and a half millimeter case thickness. Uh, the classic polo case with a new construction combing, combining brushed and polished black ceramic. It's a two-part case, crown and bezel. Uh, the central container is black DLC coated titanium. Nice. The movement is the Piaget 1200S1 in-house automatic movement. 44 hour power reserve, hefty price of 40,100 Swiss francs. Moving on. IWC uh, coming out with a stylish Portofino Chronograph 39. A very slender or, or more, I would say, dainty looking piece. Not really loving it. Uh, I, I do like some Portuguesers. Most I don't really care for. Um, but uh, this is a nice little dressy chrono. If that if you fancy that, um, 39 millimeter, again, uh, you know, I'm not opposed to small chronographs and I'm sure it looks probably bigger, uh, because there is no, you know, bezel countdown bezel or chronograph style type bezel, but, um, yeah, yeah. Sleek, sleek in, uh, and 13 millimeters case, di um, height, uh, 13 millimeter case height, 39 millimeter case diameter, stainless steel polish. Uh, IWC caliber 69 355 manufacturer movement made by Val Fillier automatic autogrammic automatic uh, integrate I'm sorry integrated column wheel chronograph uh, looking at around 7600 uh, francs French uh, Swiss francs for that one uh, moving along to the other IWC update and this is the updated IWC Portuguese yacht club moon and tide the first IWC with a silicone hairspring. Wow. Uh, interesting piece. I, 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 I dig it. Uh, the functionality is not for me. Uh, this uh, yeah, low tide, high tide. 
Um, but uh, it's a very, very sporty piece. Um, and um, not so bad. Not so bad. I kind of dig it. Kind of dig it. Um, let's look at some uh, of the uh, specs here. 44 0.6 millimeter case, a big boy. Uh, but typically, I, you know, I've seen yacht pieces or yacht style watches on on the bigger side. 13.4 millimeter case diameter. Um, I mean, uh, case height. 100 meter water resistance. Caliber 82836 in house automatic with Peloton winding system. 22 joules. 28,800 uh, vibrations per hour. 60 hour power reserve. Wow. Um, double moon phase for the northern and southern hemispheres. Deviation one day in 125 years. Oh, very cool. Spring uh, tide and, or neptide display. Uh, 22,000 uh, Swiss francs for this piece. Uh, safety folding, buckling with fine adjustment, steel bracelet with brushed agents and polished center legs. Okay. Black lacquer dial. Rodian plated hands. Nice. Uh, and uh, finally, uh okay you got grand Seiko, another seasonal themed uh release here and this is the autumn theme grand seiko elegance spring drive sbga 499 sporty yet elegant proposition for J from japan with character full red dial to welcome autumn uh yeah yeah I, i'm almost like numb to these you know uh, releases from Grand Seiko. I mean, look, uh, yes, the dials are beautiful. Yes, they are finished. The finishing is almost second to none um, with the case and, and hands and all that. But uh, again, just a little bit numb with the constant releases and the constant seasonal releases. The case is 40, just over 40 millimeters case diameter, 12.8 thickness, 48.5 millimeter length. So it's going to fit a lot of wrists, looks like. Uh, caliber. 9R65 in-house hybrid spring drive technology, 72-hour power reserve. We know the accuracy on these things. It is limited to 1,500 pieces, available on September 1st, and 6,300 euro. Well, guys, let me know what you think. That's it for today. It was a long one. Please do not forget to, uh, if you're interested in winning a free Boulder watch, I'm giving that away uh, this month, but in specifically, you have to uh, sign up this week and all you have to do is be a subscriber and put a comment on that video below. Anyway, let me know what you think, put it in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.